My first job in the fishing industry was a fly fishing guide in Wyoming and Idaho. I started at the very, very bottom, and my first job was to have to change all the bearings on everybody's trailer because that's really what got us to the river and back safely. So I learned how to change bearings, and I got to be pretty good at it, but I never really liked it, and I never really wanted to do it. Now, we're very fortunate that when we get our new Ameritrail trailers, they come with a hub that is a six-year, 100,000-mile warranty, grease-sealed, ready to roll. For 100,000 miles, I can trust those bearings, and I don't have to check them regularly at all. But a lot of people will operate out of a marina, and they'll, they'll either have their boat in dry dock storage or just tie it up at the dock, and they'll keep their trailer in storage. Then, when it's time to go explore someplace, like going down to Key West or going up to Bisco, Cane Bay or taking a long trip somewhere, or maybe you're going to evacuate from a hurricane, they put their boat on the trailer and then they have bearing problems. If you're keeping your boat stored somewhere, make sure that you think far enough ahead to where that you, you can get that trailer to a mechanic and have them either service or at least check your bearings for you if you don't know how to do it yourself. Good bearings are really important. They come standard on the Ameritrail trailer, and I'm glad I don't have to think about it anymore for six years or 100,000 miles.